Welcome, Virgo, to your weekly reading. This is for the 21st to the 28th of August. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Virgo, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. Our third row is the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Virgo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to start off here with Queen of Cups and we are looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let's go ahead now and get your clarifier. So we want to see what the Queen of Cups energy is for Virgo, please. The Five of Wands. Virgo, you are presenting this week as Queen of Cups. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, can you see our Queen of Cups is facing the past? I think you're going to review some situation, maybe with a person or with people that you have had a difficult time with. Five of Wands tells me there could have been arguments, conflict, battle of the egos. Something went on that was very challenging and very uncomfortable. And at the beginning of the week, Virgo, we see you reviewing whatever this is for you. You know, you could have had a fallout with your significant other, with a family member. Maybe something went on with colleagues at work. At the beginning of this week, you're going to look at it from our Queen of Cups perspective. Now, Queen of Cups is an emotionally mature and wise queen. So what we see is you look at this from an energy of, okay, what happened here? What went on? What was my role in this? What was the other party's role in this? You're very mature about how you are reviewing this situation. So this is the energy we see at the beginning of the week. Let's move on now and see what High Priestess energy is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we want to see now what the High Priestess energy is for Virgo, please. The Chariot. What we see here, Virgo, is that this week, I want you to know that your intuition is on point. You can trust your inner oracle, that wisdom that comes from deep within to guide you. Let that be your compass this week. In terms of how you move forward and what decisions you make, tap into your intuition in whatever way is easy for you. If it's prayer, meditation, visualizations, do what's easy, my dear Virgos. You know, sometimes we can just go out and clear our head, take a wonderful walk in nature, and we get the insights that we're looking for. Because we're being told that when you listen to your intuition, you're going to get the answers you want. Chariot is a fast-moving, successful energy. It's an incredibly strong energy. So it tells me that whatever insights and answers you get, you're going to know what to do, how to manage this scenario. So if you had 
any doubts, any questions on what to do, trust that inner oracle. It's going to give you what you need. And when you get what you need, you're going to move forward in a very fast way. You're not going to hesitate. You're not going to second guess yourself full steam ahead. Right, let's see what our Five of Pentacles energy is that is sitting in your unexpected. Right, let us see what the Five of Pentacles energy is for Virgo, please. Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles is coming through because it's just letting me know that with this energy here, this five of wands energy, this conflict that might have happened for you, it could have left some of my Virgos feeling very out there on their own, very abandoned, not knowing what happened, feeling very neglected, unsupported, unseen and unappreciated. Unexpectedly, this week, my dear Virgos, you are going to be hearing some kind of news or getting some kind of information regarding this energy. Now, this could be connected to your intuition, but for me, it's unexpected. So it might just be from an outside source, somebody who's going to shed light on this for you. So it'll work with your intuition. Whatever it is, something is going to come in and it's going to shed a light on this energy for you and help you understand, okay, what is actually happening here? What is my role? What do I need to do? And you're going to get your answers on how to move forward this week out of our Five of Pentacles energy. Let's see now what the emperor energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from spirit. So we want to see what the emperor is for Virgo, please. What is this emperor energy for Virgo? Temperance. Oh, Virgo, you have a lovely message coming out from Spirit. Spirit wants you to have no doubt that you are going to be okay. You're going to come out of whatever this is as the Emperor. You're going to learn from it. You're going to grow from it. And you're going to build up your inner strength and your inner wisdom. This is our Emperor energy. It doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. And with that strength and determination, spirit wants you to know that there is going to be a lot of ease, harmony and tranquility coming in that is going to replace our five of pentacles, five of wands energy. Can you see with our temperance card, we have the angel with her rainbow wings and the rainbow in the background. There's a lot of hope, a lot of good things still coming. Spirit wants you to keep the faith. This is now coming into play for you as you leave this energy behind. You're going to get what you need to release out of this, my dear Virgos. Right, let's move on now and see what our Two of Swords energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. Right, let's see what the Two of Swords energy is for Virgo, please. The Two of Cups. At the end of the week, for any of my Virgos who were in this energy of two of swords, the energy of not knowing what to do, not knowing where to turn, feeling so overwhelmed about what has happened here that you shut down. You didn't want to look at the situation. You put your swords up, 
protected your heart. You didn't want to look at this anymore because it was too painful. I want you to know by the end of the week, I do feel you're going to release out of this energy. Because what we are being told, my dearest Virgos, is that you actually have somebody who's going to come through for you. There's somebody who has your back, who has your best interest at heart. Two of Cups can speak to us of a romantic love connection, but this is the energy of a divine, unique connection. So this could be a very good friend, a family member, a close colleague. It's the energy of someone who is in your corner. And this is the person that is coming through by the end of the week, letting you know you're not alone, Virgo. I have your back. I'm going to be there all the way. Let's go ahead now and see what your spirit animal is for this week. So we just want to see now what Virgo's spirit animal is this week. And we have got number eight, Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery. The number eight is your lucky number. Any combination or variation of the number eight, please consider very auspicious. The Bobcat is your spirit animal. So wherever the Bobcat comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, Life is a mystery. You know, Virgo, we never understand sometimes the arguments and the challenges we go through and why we have to go through the energy of five of pentacles. But spirit comes through and explains to us that it makes us stronger. It grows us. It develops us. It makes us understand who we are and it makes us value the right people. So that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.